Well, hello, I hope you're having a beautiful and of course profitable day. So today we're gonna to be talking about ENS or Ethereum name service. Now, before we deep dive into the website and I, I show you guys really kind of the technical aspects of it, I wanted to give kind of a very green, if you will, explanation of what ENS or the Ethereum name service is. So domains have been a billion dollar industry for over a decade now. When I say domain, I mean, if you want to go to Walmart's website, you would go to walmart.com. Now, Walmart is the only one that has the walmart.com domain because there can only be one of one. In the NFT world, think about this being a one of one edition. Now, with Web3 coming out, of course, you know, the internet came out with domains. You had .coms, .org, .gov, .edu. .eth is going to be your domain or your name for Ethereum. So if I was to send to you or you were to want to send to me something on the ETH blockchain, one of us would have to exchange a very long 16-digit code, which if you were to walk up to somebody and say, this is my name, 0x, 8500DEJ what have you it would be very hard to actually know who that person is it'd be very hard to actually recite that and remember that however if i walked up to you and i said well my name is hustlemillennial.eth that would be much much easier so what ens does is it takes that very long string of numbers letters that very long code that identifies you and i on the ETH blockchain, it simplifies that into something three letters or numbers and longer. So if you wanted DDF or anything like that, you would be able to give that out and anyone that sends it, say if mine was the hm.eth, instead of giving you my very, very long, extensive 16 digit Ethereum wallet address, I would say my ETH wallet is the hm.eth. Now I'm the only one that can have that as any ENS or Ethereum name is a one of one. That means once you have it, it is yours. And if someone wants it, then they will have to pay whatever your asking price is. Now I recently acquired mtvmusic.eth along with a few other there's like anchor.eth, patriot.eth, and some music ones as well as I'm going to intend on flipping these. Now, if you've never heard of domain flipping, domain flipping has made many, many millionaires over the years. And I believe that the ETH domain service, or ENS rather, the Ethereum name service, has the same potential. As we know, the world is completely evolving technologically, scientifically, and Web3 is evolving the internet yet again. Now, before the 90s, nobody would know what a internet domain name is. And before last year, nobody would know what an ENS was. So if you're brand new to this, that is okay. There are a lot of people. Whenever I say ENS, just think about one unique address that can be used. Now, the website is ens.domains, and about a year ago when they did launch, if you had registered any ENS domains, you would receive about 50 ENS tokens per domain you registered. Now, that is just an average. It is not exact, but with a current trading price right around $44 per ENS, it was extremely profitable for anyone that got in early. I know a few people who registered well over 100 ENS domains, netting them about 5,000 ENS tokens or a real world value in USD of about $200,000. So you can see how this was very profitable for anyone that got in early, but I believe it's still extremely profitable for anyone getting in right now registering unique high demand names so now let's get into the technical aspect of it and look through the website ENS claims that it is decentralized naming for wallets websites and more now this is the actual app or a picture of the app you can choose a name and then choose to register it now the pricing definitely varies as a three-digit name will cost you about 600 USD to register for one year however a name that is five digits or longer will only run you about two hundred dollars a year plus gas fees so you can see a breakdown right here you search your name you can then choose to register it which is a three-step process where you just essentially have to link your metamask or trust wallet coinbase wallet whatever you are using it will mint to that wallet and it will actually mint 
as an NFT. So I can show you a few of these uh, really quick right here. Uh, we can take Anchor, for example, uh, which I got after the monument, you know, Angkor Wat. So this one right here is basically what you will get when you register an Ethereum name service NFT. So you, you can see it actually does physically or well digitally insert this into your wallet where you can then either keep it, you can set it as your primary ENS name, which means if Anchor.eth was my primary name, all someone would have to do is when they're wanting to send ETH, they can send it to Anchor.eth and that will come directly to me instead of having that very long 16 digit numerical code. So if we actually go to ENS, we can see right now there is a little over 365,000 ENS domains registered and well over 10,000 ETH traded. Just to give you an example of how much these can give you a return or your ROI, somebody recently minted boy.eth, B-O-Y dot ETH. Now when they minted this, it cost them about 0.19 ETH or right around 800 US dollars. This recently sold within the last week for 15 ETH or a little over 60,000 US dollars. So that $800 investment became $60,000 because they had something unique, very easy to use. I mean, how easy would it be to say, instead of the 16 digit code, I am boy.eth. Makes it very, very easy. And that sold for 15 Ethereum very, very recently. So really lucrative, not only for registering your own personal domain, but if you are in the environment of flipping, like you know we are, uh, then it can be very profitable for you as well. So ENS is your Web3 username, no more sandbox username, own your new username, store an avatar and other profile data, and use it across services. ENS is the most widely integrated blockchain naming standard. Now outside of OpenSea, you can see there are a few more names registered. 185,000 unique owners own an ENS name, 328 integrations for a total of 462,000 plus registered ENS domains. ENS is one name for all of your addresses. No more copying and pasting long addresses. That's 16 digit alphanumerical code. Use your ENS name to store all of your addresses and receive any cryptocurrency token or NFT. Now, ENS does also offer decentralized websites where you can launch censorship resistant decentralized websites with your ENS. Upload your website to IPFS and access it with your ENS name like Vitalik.eth. You can also use traditional names or domain names. The native name suffix for ENS is .eth, which has given the security benefits of being blockchain native. You can also use ENS with DNS names. So ENS is the Ethereum name service. DMS would be the classic domain name service. ENS supports most DNS names, including .com, .org, .io, .app, .xyz, and .art. The ENS ecosystem is supported by a multitude of wallets, as you can see right here, from 1inch to Coinbase, Trust Wallet, MyCrypto, Ethereum, Argent, and of course, MetaMask as well. They offer integration for basically any crypto wallet you can have out there. There are also some apps that are supported as well. You can see here as well as OpenSea, Aave, Avagachi, 3F Mutual, 1inch, and so on. So first off, I want to know what you guys think of ENS and its integration with Web3. We all know Web3 is exploding. We haven't really reached a bubble. We're still in a very bullish market around Web3 with many, many new things coming out. So you can see they have many different partners, many different wallets that they work with, heavily, heavily vetted. It's something that I am, it's probably one of my most bullish investments right now. But of course, random social media internet guy on YouTube should never be the one that you take your financial advice from. I am not a financial advisor in none of this is financial advice so if you want to get involved you can subscribe to their mailing list they have a discord community their white papers and their forum are all open and they will be readable to you i will leave the link down below but let me know what you guys think of ens let's start a conversation below as always stay profitable and keep hustling